Hi, welcome to Tired Old Queen at the Movies, Steve Hayes' classic movie reviews. If you like what you see, please go ahead and subscribe. You can also hit that little bell to be notified anytime a new video comes out. Right below, we've got some great classic movie merchandise, as well as some Tired Old Queen merchandise. Check it out. Now let's go see our good friend, the one, the only, the Tired Old Queen at the Movies, Steve Hayes. Johnny! Tired old queen at the movies. Come on in! Johnny, we hadn't done a disaster movie in a while, so I decided to choose John Ford's The Hurricane from 1937, starring Dorothy L'Amour, John Hall, Mary Astor, Raymond Massey, C. Aubrey Smith, and an Oscar-nominated performance by Thomas Mitchell. Now, this was taken from a novel by Nordoff and Hall who had written Mutiny on the Bounty, and it concerns basically a hurricane that comes through and wipes off the face of the earth a South Seas Island. The plot is basically this. Thomas Mitchell is an old doctor and he's on a boat and they're passing in the South Seas. This like sandbar has a few palm fronds on it. And this woman next to him goes, what was that? And he said, that was Manakura. That was the most beautiful island in the South Pacific. And you go into flashbacks. And John Hall is this native boy and he's in love with this girl, Dorothy L'Amour. And he is sort of the hero of the island. And he goes off on schooners and works for a while as a fisherman on schooners and goes around the Pacific and then always comes back to her and he's saving up to marry her. She's the chief's daughter. <laughs> <laughs> it's a French island and it's governed by Raymond Massey who's just diabolical. Raymond Massey had those eyes that could just look through you and pierce you. And his wife is a very kindly woman and it's Mary Astor. And Mary Astor wants her husband to you know, just kind of be fall into the romance of the South Seas and the island and the and the customs of the people, but he refuses. He he's rigid with punishment and he's unforgiving and he's not a nice guy, basically. That puts everything in a different light, doesn't it, dear? You can explain to the authorities. No, it merely puts me in a worse light. Now I'm not only Tarangi's persecutor, I'm the oppressor of an unborn child. Her only uh, other friend on the island is played by wonderful British actor C. Aubrey Smith, who plays uh, the the priest. C. Aubrey Smith just had this face, this this presence. He was in everything. Why, he's as deeply rooted in this place as I am. He was in the Charge of the Light Brigade. He was in Rebecca. He was just a marvelous, marvelous character actor. The government demands information against the murderer. There are stronger things than governments in this world, Lars. And Thomas Mitchell continually warns Raymond Massey, he says, you know, this is going to come up to bite you someday. There's a whole thing about your karma is really, really bad. You'll destroy yourself. That sounds very ominous. Well, Tarangi hits a Caucasian man. Get up when a white man tells you. And I... He's put in prison by John Carradine, who's the, another nasty one. And wouldn't you like to be going home? Thomas Mitchell goes and pleads and says, look, you know, you put him in prison. They, these people can't stand to be prison. This will kill him. So he keeps trying to escape. And of course, every time he tries to escape, he's caught and he's flogged and he's thrown into prison and they won't let him out. And finally, he, he escapes and he gets back to Manakura. I come back. I've been waiting. And... A hurricane hits that island. Hey, quite a wind coming up. This is the worst I've seen or heard for a long time. It's like devils running around. The special effects in this movie were by James Vesevi, and this is one of the great, great disaster movies. He said later, they gave me $400,000 to shoot this thing, so I took 150000 of it and I built this village, Polynesian village, and I took $250,000 to destroy it. Take to the trees and position, cover the land. So quickly, go! The special effects are through the roof on this. You will not believe. No computer-generated special effects. And, and John Ford, being the realist that he was, made everybody do their own stunts. Trees are being uprooted and thrown out into the sea. And they had this, this contraption which would lift this hydraulic thing, would lift this whole tree up and make it look like it was flying away. Well, they 
John Hall got Mary Astor and Dorothy L'Amour out through these waters. Now they're, now they're going from the church to the tree on this rope and this water is pelting them and it's up to their shoulders. They're working their way through the studio tank that's being flooded with high pressure water and air and everything. He climbs the tree with each of them, gets them tied to the tree and the hydraulic thing breaks and the tree comes off and swings and goes all the way up to the top of the soundstage, leaving Mary Astor hanging upside down for 45 minutes. John Hall never panicked. He said, no, don't worry, Mary, we'll get you down eventually. And she went, <laughs> you know. Unfortunately, they didn't have an Oscar for special effects at the time. Um, that, that didn't come till two years later. The other thing about this movie was that it was really, really great to be in a John Ford movie. He had gotten an Oscar for being in The Informer. He took no nonsense. He would go on to direct more Oscar-winning movies than anybody. He got an Oscar for The Informer, Grapes of Wrath, How Green Was My Valley, and For the Quiet Man in 1952. John Hall, who played Tarangi, actually had Polynesian background. His father was a famous ice skating champion uh, from Finland, and his mother was a Tahitian princess. Dorothy L'Amour was born in New Orleans. She was an elevator operator in Chicago. She became a dancer and a singer. She sang with big bands. She sang with Tommy Dorsey. And then she got to Hollywood, and they cast her in a movie with Ray Milan called His Jungle Princess. They put her on a sarong, and it was a big hit. And after that, she was in sarongs off and on for the rest of her career. Tarangi, I had a dream. I had no dream. I slept. And John Hall and she continued to make Polynesian movies. He went off to make movies with Maria Montez, like Cobra Woman and Gypsy Wildcats. She went on to make movies like Typhoon and Beyond the Blue Horizon. And then she teamed up with Bob Hope and Bing Crosby. And she said, I became the most famous straight woman in Hollywood. And she amassed a fortune. A few years ago, after she died, they did an auction at Sotheby's of her jewels. But you couldn't believe the jewelry this woman had collected over the years. Everybody liked Dorothy L'Amour. She was no nonsense. She was a, just a really great lady. Thomas Mitchell, he got nominated for The Hurricane. He was Scarlett O'Hara's father in Gone with the Wind. He was in Stagecoach, and he was in When Only Angels Have Wings. And Mr. Smith Goes to Washington, all in 1939. And he got the Oscar for Stagecoach. Hmm. I love special effects, and this just comes from when I was a kid. You know, I loved Tarzan movies. I loved, I loved San Francisco with the earthquake. I loved the rains came with the earthquake. I can't help it. I just always marveled at what they could do uh, back then with, without having all the computers and technological aspects that they did now. And I think you're going to be fascinated. <laughs> Dorothy L'Amour, John Hall, Raymond Massey, Mary Astor, Thomas Mitchell, and the amazing Theodore Smith, and John Ford's classic disaster movie, The Hurricane. Let's all go to the lobby. Let's all go to the lobby. Let's all go to the lobby. Steve, you do something funny, would you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The popcorn can't be beat. 